Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here and I have a question from Heavenly Web today. Cool name, by the way. And that question is, are artificial sweeteners really bad for you? Now there's a lot of debate whether or not artificial sweeteners are bad for you or not. And so I'm gonna kind of tackle them one by one. Let's talk about uh, aspartame first. Now aspartame is one of those culprits that I'm not a big fan of, right? And the reason was, this is a chemical substance designed to taste sweet to trick your taste buds. The problem is, your body doesn't know what to do with aspartame once it enters it, okay? So once the aspartame goes inside your stomach, it just distributes it throughout your body. I even heard stories of people with Alzheimer's disease getting their brains dissected and having granules of aspartame surrounding their brains and their nerves. So that kind of freaks me out a little bit. It's enough to make me push away from aspartame. Now, another one, let's talk about things like stevia. Now, stevia, I'm a bit more of a fan of because it's a natural substance and your body does process it. It's not a chemical that your body cannot process. So stevia comes from a leaf. They've been using it in Japan for like 30, 40, 50 years. And up until recently, it was actually illegalized in the United States, partly because I think the lobbyists for the aspartame companies basically said, there's no freaking way you're bringing a leaf in here that's just as sweet as our aspartame. So I'm a big fan of stevia. Now, here's something to think about, all right? Is that a lot of people talk about the sweetness of your food affecting your cravings and possibly affecting your blood sugar. Now I train a diabetic client and so I know that his blood sugar doesn't change when he consumes artificial or uh, plant-based sweeteners. So I know that that might be true for some people, it's not true for everyone. So we don't necessarily have to worry about that insulin spike when consuming artificial sweeteners, but we do have to worry about our cravings. Now that's something that's really powerful is that our cravings for sweet food aren't satiated, they're fueled by more sweet food. So if you go and say, oh, I'll just have one bite of that cookie, right? you're gonna to wanna to eat the whole damn thing, and probably a second one, right? Because you're not actually satisfying your sweet tooth, you're fueling your sweet tooth. So if you really have a sugar addiction and you wanna get rid of it, the best thing to do is cut all sweet foods out so that flavor is missing from your tongue. That way you don't crave it more. So there's my take on artificial sweeteners. Uh, one more kind of fun fact is that they've recently done some cool studies where they found out that people who drank diet sodas over regular sodas actually gained more weight over the long term than people who drank regular sodas. So there's some food for thought as well. If you guys dig this video, let me know. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your number one question is so I can make you a custom video so you can look, feel, and perform your best. Thanks for watching.